Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I hope your day is going fantastic and your journey to self-betterment is going better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to talk more about what we were talking about in my last video. But expanding upon this subject. As to not only to talk about the narcissist's parents we grew up with. But all of the other people that entered our lives that so-called had our best interests at heart. Or so we thought. A comment was left on my last video stating. We were helpless, and the very ones who should have seen to our health, encouraging our God-given talents, assisted us while we were growing up, and helping us to learn to fly. And first off thank you for such an accurate comment. I thank you all for commenting and sharing your thoughts. Because the more we share the more we grow. With that said. This comment really grabbed me. Yes. We were helpless. I think back to when I was so young and in school. And for those of you that know my story. About how the teachers that seemed to know my situation or least that I didn't have real support at home. They seen it as an opportunity and chance to mistreat me and get away with it. It seemed like I was not only being picked on by the students at this one school I went to. Until we moved. But at this school I was also picked on by the teachers as well. Or at least a vast majority of them. And now all grown up. I think to myself. What were these people thinking? What kind of satisfaction did they get by reading my wrong answers from test questions allowed give them? What joy did they get from picking on me instead of helping me? And the sad answer is the same reason why my mother did what she did. And it was narcissistic supply. You see. These are the people that should have wanted the best for us. But just like was stated in the comment. These people that were supposed to support and nurture us and our talents. They came along. Or if they were our parents. They were already there. And they proceeded to day in and day out clip our metaphoric wings and to ruin every aspect of our lives before we even had a chance to have a life. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt like since day one? Nothing. Or nearly all things in your life either backfired on you or they didn't work out. It seemed like when something good was going my way. And I had a big smile on my face. That now was the time things were going to work out in my favor. I very quickly got a metaphoric kick right in the bottom. You see when you start off with sabotage. Meaning your parent or parents attempting to sabotage your life when you are so young and helpless. You end up on this path of barely able to gain ground because you are almost always behind in life. And we think. Why would anyone want to do such a thing to someone and their life? And sadly the answer is narcissistic evil supply. It's not human when you think about it. And when people compare narcissists to demons and demons to narcissists. It's very hard to say they aren't in some way or another possibly related. Because when we hear about demons. We hear about beings that enjoy that literally enjoy tricking you and causing you to stumble and fall in as many areas of life as they can make you stumble and fall in. And they do it all to rob you of your place in heaven. And simply because they enjoy it. They enjoy to watch you in pain and misery. And for you to feel like you are greatly lacking and also to feel like you aren't where you should be in life. Well can't the same be said about narcissists? I'm just a humble cartoon man asking a question here. But another question is what can we learn? Narcissists like it when you have no boundaries and they will try to trick. Literally trick you out of your boundaries if you have them. So the thing we can learn is develop boundaries if you don't have them. And don't give them up when someone tells you that you should. Don't listen to the shaming. Blaming and projecting. However. 
pray for discernment and protection from all evil. Again I want to thank you all for your comments. You are sparking a lot of thought and discussion. Which is important for growth and self-betterment. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.